Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to a new video and first video of 2019 um, So, yeah, um, welcome to 2019 on my channel um, So I hope you had a great Christmas and a um, great new year um, So the first video I want to make uh, on my channel is about soundtracks of movies uh, But first, if you're wondering what we're listening to this is Nadra with um, something that I'm never gonna pronounce, but this is a great, great, great album or EP. Um, I believe it's an EP with five tracks on it, but they're very lengthy. So, uh, Icelandic black metal. If you want to know, go and check them out. Um, but the whole purpose of this video is, of course, soundtracks from movies or series. Sorry if I kept doing this. Uh, I just shave my head and should have showered because all those small hairs are going to be gone but hey, uh, but the first one is an unofficial um, release from Star Wars the sounds of Star Wars um, bought this for very cheap also like, like, okay it looks kind of cool it kind of has all of the main Sound soundtracks from Star Wars. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. Um, get the sticker on, which with the price because if I pull it off, the whole jacket will be gone. <coughs> so it has the Star Wars intro, the main title, Princess Leia theme, Imperial Attack or Imperial March probably, um, Bent Death, uh, Tie Fighter Attack, the Cantina Bent of course, and the Throne Room. Um, so that's pretty cool to have. Um, so this is probably a bootleg or something. Uh, either way, I got this for very cheap, so couldn't pass on that. Now we have a war classic um, in the music genre. Also, sorry for the price. They usually stick it on a vinyl uh, jacket, but a long time ago. They decided to fucking put it on the jacket. So, and this one also has been used. Uh, this is the uh, soundtrack for Platoon, which I was really glad to have and glad to find. Um, it has a lot of cool uh, old '70s rock songs on it. And this is the back side, front side. With the iconic image of Platoon, uh, which I'm not gonna spoil. Um, so, vinyl just on black, um, so I'm not gonna show that. But either way, a very, very good soundtrack. If you haven't watched uh, Platoon, highly recommendable if you want to. Then, the soundtrack. Of one of my favorite series at the moment. I've currently watched it over three times. Um, this is the second soundtrack of the series Outlander. So there you got it. It's a double LP gatefold, which I will show you. Um, it's a Celtic um, kind of soundtrack uh, with a lot of Gaelic instruments as well and it opens up like this this looks pretty fucking cool um, but the soundtrack is even more awesome uh, the soundtrack the soundtrack is awesome but the vinyl is pretty cool as well because it is on a colored green I'll call it a mossy looking vinyl because it has been filmed in Scotland and uh, the series is about a girl coming from the future just at the beginning of the ending of the Second World War and she travels with her husband to a um, magic portal and then she um, is going back in time uh, in the time of the Jacobites which is pretty fucking awesome and not cheesy at all. So. The next one is um, a classic from uh, Stanley Kubrick, Full Metal Jacket. 
Um, I got nothing on the um, with the final going on just just black as I can remember. Yep. A really fun soundtrack to listen to. Um, it has some mixes on it, um, but either way, I eventually bought it for the cover um, because it's an iconic cover, and I had this in a frame for a long time. But either way, um, yeah, glad to have it. Next one is also classic from uh, Michael Cimino, Deer Hunter vinyl. Um, I believe this was produced by John Williams. A very short soundtrack. Um, uh, the longest song is three and a half minutes long almost. Um, no, almost four minutes. But um, yeah, it's it's. It's a really short uh, soundtrack, but either way, it's um, it's a good soundtrack. Um, who doesn't know Deer Hunter? Um, in my opinion, that's a modern day classic. So please, 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 for the love of God, go and watch Deer Hunter as well. It's a war movie as well. But yeah, so sticking to war, uh, the best war series ever made, Band of Brothers. Um, made by HBO. Um, when I saw this um, being shared by Charlie, um, I immediately bought it. This is just a gatefold, which is fucking awesome if you look like this. And the back side is pretty awesome as well. Came with a lot of goodies. Um, with some art and information. Michael Kamen has produced this, which is pretty fucking cool. Let me see if I have the poster, which there should be. Either way, it's a double LP. Um, yeah, this the poster. Start a little bit back because it's kind of big, which is kind of cool. Um, couldn't find a frame for it because um, it's a really weird uh, size looking poster. Um, but hey, doesn't matter, right? It's all about the music. But what also makes music pretty cool is that this is on a freaking cool army translucent green vinyl which is really fucking cool in my opinion and the other one is just the same so go check this out as well if you are into war related series so you'll probably heard for it and the last one is probably one of my favorite soundtracks ever Braveheart uh, double LP. Uh, I when I saw this in a uh, store here in Harlem, um, I kind of screeched like a little girl because I was looking for this soundtrack for a long time and I got it on CD and now I have it on vinyl. Mr. Gibson and it's a gateful LP and it opens up like that, which is at the Battle of Bannockburn. I want to say. Both LP come in one of this really good looking printed inner sheets. I don't know if the other one has the Braveheart um, thing and just blue. And I believe this is also on colored. No, this is on black. Either way, it's very, very good to have this one on vinyl. And I know there are, is one soundtrack that I really, really want on vinyl, but God, that's expensive. Which is the uh, Dress Park. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you could see it right there. 
It's a little bit um, is with that artwork on the front, but that's a Brazilian press, so I'll never get that. Uh, the other ones are the Lord of the Rings soundtracks on vinyl, but they just have been released for 160 euros per per movie, so I'm not gonna spend like 600 euros on three vinyl, so on three vinyl box sets, but hey. So um, yeah, that concludes this video. Um, I'd like to see what you guys have on vinyl uh, of uh, movies or series. Um, please tag me in, if you want to make a video out of it. Please tag me in one of those videos. Um, and yeah, uh, hope you like the new intro by the way. So, I guess I'll see you next video. So, see ya.